Hello and welcome to Louise Singleton Creations and another quick midweek video because I've just received something and I had to show you. I'm dying to try it out so it was an unexpected video but let's do it. Let's see what I got. It is the Locklick Mini 3 heat press from HTV Ront. It's been upgraded, it's got a lot of improvements and I'm dying to try it out. So should we have a go? Yeah, let's go. The Locklick Impress Mini 3 heat press came very well packaged. First of all, there were the detailed instructions in that envelope. And then there was a soft bag to keep it stored in, which is a nice extra touch. Then the heat press itself, I was very pleased to see that it had a UK plug. So no adapters necessary. So that was a definite bonus for me. And then at the bottom, there was the insulated safety base. To try out the heat press today, I'm using heat transfer vinyl from HTV Ront. And on the back of the pack, it gives you all the instructions you need. It tells you the temperature and the press time that you will need. So it needs to be 150 degrees C for 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, let's get the mini heat press ready. All you have to do is press the power button on the left and the display screen will flash. It's a nice large display screen and it's very clear so then you need to just press the settings button on the right and the plus and minus buttons to change the temperature to meet your requirements after you've set the temperature you can press the settings button again and then you can change the amount of time that you need i need 15 seconds so there it went in there and then i pressed the button again to make sure it was set then it flashes red until it's heated up. When the temperature is ready, it will go green. And then when you want to use it, all you have to do is hold down the power button for two or three seconds and the countdown timer will start. One of the cool new features with this upgraded design is that curve on the insulated base plate and that's there so that you can place a round object like a cup or a tumbler on there because this heat press can be used for sublimation too. So not only is the base better equipped for that function but the base of the heat press itself has a curved area for doing curved objects like the cup. So the design I'm doing today is red and white. So all I had to do was cut out my red HTV and my white HTV and then peel off the unwanted areas of the design. As you can see here, I do like the weeding with HTV more than with permanent vinyl. It's so much easier to do the weeding. It just all pulls off in one go. So yeah, that's really nice and easy. So the red needed to go on first. I put it into position on my black hoodie and I was ready to press. So let's see how it goes. So different kinds of heat transfer vinyl specify whether the transfer film should be peeled off hot or cold. And for this one, it's a cold peel. So I had to wait until it was completely cool. And I did speed this up because I do find that the transfer film on the HTV from HTV Ront is very, very sticky. And I was a little bit scared of pulling off what I'd just stuck down. So <laughs> I did it very, very slowly. Okay, so now it's time for the white parts of the design. And this time I didn't use the timer because it was quite a large design and I knew I would be moving it around and it would probably take quite a bit longer and yeah you don't really need the timer but it's handy if you do want to use it so once that was pressed i allowed it to cool again peeled off the transfer film and then took some baking paper put it over the top and gave it an extra press just to be sure it was all thoroughly bonded so here's my finished results and I've got to say I loved working with the Locklick Mini 3. It heated up very quickly, it was simple to use and the large display screen helped a lot. It gets a 10 out of 10 from me.
So here it is, all finished, and I love it. I think it's brilliant. This worked so well. My goodness, I would highly recommend this Locklick Mini 3. It, it's just faultless. I can't think of anything negative to say about it. If you would like to check it out, go and find the link in my video description. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. That will help me immensely, more than I could say. It really does make such a difference to my channel. And if you would like to subscribe, that's great as well. Please do. And I will see you again next time. Thank you for watching and bye for now.